Today is the memorial of St. Apollinaris, who was a uh, follower of St. Peter. He traveled with St. Peter to Antioch and then over to Rome, and P Peter had him become the bishop of Ravenna, and he uh, underwent many persecutions and continued to preach the faith with uh, courage and was finally beaten to death in the year 79, they say. So we have the the readings here of those who are to be the leaders of the flock, preaching or, or, or having authority over others and how they are to do it without, and this is from the councils of St. Peter, who was the first leader of the church, and he learned humility. He learned humility the hard way after his great humiliation and denying our Lord three times and our Lord allowed it really to teach him humility because those who are to be the leaders, those who are to lead the flocks are, are to excel in humility and what a contrary thing it is in this, in this world. Those who are, um, you know, there's a, there's this desire for ambition in the world to be the first, to be, to lord, lord over others once they are in that, that position. But if we are to serve Christ and we are to do things after his example, we are to be servants as our Lord himself was and as St. Peter was, how, we taught, how they taught not to lord authority over others, but to be a pattern of the flock from the heart and to uh, help others voluntarily, not for money, not for glory. But to follow the example of Jesus in, in ministering to others, those who are in charge of others are to, to consider themselves servants. And there are so many religious orders whose superiors are, are called servants. That's their, their title. And even the Holy Father, we call him the servant of, servant of the servants of, of God. And we really need to inculcate and, and have deep in our hearts, we followers of Christ, to to establish humility in our hearts. And it's something that we have to work at, work for, strive to have, because it's not something that comes second nature. Even the, the apostles living in the company of Jesus, here they are having strife among themselves, who would seem to be the greater, and our Lord had to teach them to consider themselves servants. And they were good men. And yet they still had this desire for ambition, putting themselves first above their own uh, fellow apostles. So they had to be taught, and we have to be taught, and we have to teach ourselves and practice this humility and not seek to lord over others, not seek to be ambitious and put ourselves first, but to be servants throughout our whole life. And if we do, our Lord promises us a kingdom promises that we will be kingdoms. We will sit at the table in the kingdom of God and sit upon thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That's for those who do serve in this world, who seek to serve. So let us consider ourselves servants, consider that our identity. My identity is to be a servant, to be subject, to be obedient, to serve all the days of my life, serve God, serve uh, his representatives, to serve even those who are in authority are to serve and consider themselves servants. Even on our Franciscan rule, the superiors are consider themselves in a certain sense uh, servants of their masters, their subjects, when they are in need, to always be there to serve and to, and to uh, help others in their need. <laughs> 